header images on any single postal page. And let's take a look at the demo. Here's the demo here. This is the default image that I've added using the customized link. So we go to header image and here it is here. So this will display on every page unless we add a unique header image using custom fields. So let's just go to a single post and this has got a unique header image and I've added this using custom fields. So if we go down to custom fields, I've created code which uh, includes a custom field with the name of custom headers and I've added an image to the media library. I've grabbed the ID for that image and I've added it in there as a value. So we just update that and that will display, that will remove the default header image and display this custom image. And this unique header image, when you click it, goes back to the home page as well. So, And we can use this on single pages, which I've done here as well. So once you've added your image to the media library, you'll need to grab the ID. So view attachment page, edit media, and you'll see the ID down the bottom here, post equals 379. So that's what we need to put in the custom field, custom fields value field. Now, we just had a look at this before, and here it is here. So if you're using the native custom fields meta box, already included in all WordPress installations, this is the method you have to use. Um, if you're using the ACF plugin, you can install ACF. That'll add another meta box here, and you can simply upload the image. You won't need to put in this attachment image ID. So you just create a new custom field using ACF. Uh, make sure you name it uh, custom headers so it matches the same uh, name in the in the code, and you can use that plugin as well. So. You have two choices. You can use the native uh, MetaBox or, or ACF. So it's as simple as that. Um, you probably notice that the image is quite large, so you do need to crop the images. So if I took a smaller image, and let's just add a smaller image here. Here's one here. So I add this. Now let's just edit. Oh, we've got to find the view attachment page, edit media, 425 is the ID. So let's just go back here and replace this number here with 425. Update. And there we have it, it displays that image instead. So, so it's as simple as that. Um, there's, there's several different methods that I've published. You can also, I've also published code which enables you to uh, display the site title and description over the top of the background image. And also if you're added a header right uh, widget, uh, it'll also display the uh, the content of the header right widget area over the top of the image. So there's another solution for that as well on WPSites.net. Um, all the codes here, um, it's fully supported for members of WPSites.net. So if you need to make some small adjustments or you need installation support, that's all included. So uh, thanks for watching and see you next time on